Hello! In this session we are going to create an assembly. We're going to use a couple of the subassembly composer files, the PKT files that we created, to create a full assembly to be ran through a corridor. So let's jump into Civil 3D and create our assembly. Okay, so we're here in Civil 3D. I'm going to take a quick look at the tool palette. So you can see we have some of our subassemblies that we have brought in. Um, we're going to use, in this case, the Daylight Rounded Target and the Sidewalk Planter Swell. So I'm going to first come here to my Home tab on the ribbon. I'm going to come to Assembly and select Create Assembly. I'm going to name this. I'm just going to call it Typical Section. I'm going to select OK. I'm going to place it here just to the side of my profile. And then we're going to build this. We're going to do a standard, typical roadway. So I'm going to first start with the lanes. I'm going to place the lanes in here using the Lane Super AOR. I'm going to leave the defaults. We're going to leave it at 12 feet wide and the default settings in here, but you can adjust those if needed. I'm going to select the one there. I'm just going to build the right side. I'll mirror it to the left. We're going to add a curb and gutter. So I'm just going to use the Urban Curb Gutter General. I'm going to add that here. And then for this one, I'm going to use the sidewalk with the planter and the swell. So I'm going to select that, and I'm going to select this code to add it. So you can see that there's our subassembly that we've created. We've got the swell in there, the sidewalk. Uh, if I look at the properties of it, I can adjust the properties. So if I wanted a 10-foot planter, I can adjust the planter. You can see based on our subassembly that we created, that flow line is centered within that planter. We could give it a boulevard slope, we could give it a sidewalk slope and width and so forth. Planter depth, you know, let's go a foot. So you can see there that those are dynamic changes you can make here in your properties because we created this in Subassembly Composer. Okay. So I'm going to leave those settings in there. We're going to add one more in. I'm going to go back to my subassemblies. I'm going to use the daylight rounded target that we created. And I'm going to simply add that to the end of my corridor assembly. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to select these all. I've got the right side built. I'm going to select them all up on the ribbon, or I can right click. There's a mirror. I'm going to mirror it along the center line, and I now have that full section, that full sub assembly, um, and the assembly that we can now use in our corridor. 